Domestic violence calls across the Sacramento region are up. We have never been busier. The nonprofit Weave works to turn victims of domestic and sexual violence into survivors, now working harder than ever before. It's good that we've got people seeking help, but it's also overwhelming and frightening to know that there are that many people out there that um, their relationships have gotten to the point that they're needing to seek help. But what's more alarming is the rate domestic violence cases are becoming murder. In the Sacramento region, over the course of just six months, 14 people have been killed as a result of domestic violence, eight of those children. I started in the DA's office in 1988, and I cannot remember a year when so many children were killed in domestic violence. A young death toll beginning March of this year in Southland Park. A father charged in the murders of his estranged wife, niece, and their two young children. The latest murders this week involving three children inside their West Sacramento home, allegedly at the hands of their father. We've never, never seen this many murders in that short of a time, and so many of them were children. Each motivated by a violent theme of power and control. The most dangerous time is when they believe that that power or control is uh, being either decreased or, or extinguished. And oftentimes when trying to leave a violent household, that's when things can be most dangerous. We recommend the most important thing in that situation is to make sure the abuser is unaware and to leave that home when they are not home. Coming up at five, we will share the biggest red flag indicating when a volatile relationship is at risk of becoming deadly.